What's Morales from Black Women TV? Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello, Othan. Hi. You know, when I started, I had no idea about this story, but as soon as I started watching from episode one to the rest of it, I said I couldn't stop. I had to watch it all in one sitting. And I was like calling my friends who were also pressed and we were like, yo, you believe this story? How did you get away with it? You know, you didn't you Google and everything you can about this? What was it like when you got the script and you said, okay, I got to be a part of this? Katie? <laughs> I didn't even have a script yet. Shonda just called me and said, do you want to play Rachel? And I was like, yeah, I'll do anything. I would love to play any part. I think the story is fascinating. And obviously you are one of the most prolific writers of our time. And I want to be in Shonda land forever. So um, I was just so happy to be any part of it. <laughs> Lafern? Same. I I didn't I knew I, I knew very little about Anna Delvey. I saw like a little news report when she was in court in the handcuffs and the glasses. I remember the glasses and the handcuffs. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And then when Shonda approached my me and my team, I I mean I, got, I read the Jessica Pressler article and was like, mm -hmm. what? the F and I just became <laughs> obsessed with it and read everything I could and was just like, oh my God, this is crazy. And then I found out more about Casey Duke. And obviously if when Shonda Rhimes calls, you say yes. It's just, it really is one of those things where it's just, you must say yes because of Shonda. And then it, it, it is really delivered everything that I'd hoped for as a huge fan of Shonda's work for years and dream, really dreaming about being in Shonda land, dreaming about working with her for a very long time and getting to do this was, uh, was a dream come true. It really was. You know, you do a series like this, what comes out of it? Is, is it, are you more careful as to who you give your money to or who you hang out with, <laughs> Katie? <laughs> both. I mean, I, it's you definitely know? both. Yeah, it's like, oh my goodness, I, it's just a very complicated situation when friendships in Rachel's case are transactional and you're friends at certain times in your life with people that give you access to something. That's what Rachel loves about Anna. I think they also enjoyed both having fun and I think they were both single and they were both in New York at the same time looking to climb and looking to make a legacy and a name for themselves and be taken seriously. And I think that those sort of relationships I can definitely relate to. I lived in New York in my twenties and had friends that were there, you know, and wanted to go to the same places I did or could get me into something that I couldn't on my own. I don't think I would be friends with them for my life. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what about you, Laverne? At the end of the day, you know, you do a series like this when somebody calls, Hey, can I, can you spot me a little bit? You start wondering, when can you pay it back? You know, no, or I always, I always had boundaries. You know, I don't loan friends money. I've never done that. And like, there was a friend, a dear friend of mine a few years ago and I, you know, I had the money and she was like, can you loan me? And I was like, I don't, I don't loan friends money. I, I don't, I don't do that. So I've just, good for I, you. I, I have that boundary. I've never, I don't do that. I just, I've always had sort of financial boundaries. Um, I and I luckily have family members who are not predatory. <laughs> so <laughs> I've always been very highly boundary. I've been really in a protective way. I think growing up and being I think of this started very early for me, I think because I was bullied and then I would have people who said they were friends and then they would like make fun of me and engage in bullying me. I was betrayed mm. a lot very early on. And so mm. I mm. created, mm. Wall, maybe, you know, I, I created, you know, I became very armored. And now I think I'm less armored and I'm more, it's in its bound, healthier boundaries now. But I put up a big armor around myself to protect myself. And now that same um, instinct to protect myself, I, I still have. And I think it has served me well now that I'm, um, you know, living the life that I'm living. I'm very, I have a radar up for people who are predatory. I have good radar for predators. Okay. Um, so next to myself. Not always, the, not always the best. So when um, I see you, I'm saying, can I borrow an apple? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, no. <laughs> I'll let you be wherever you're at. Stay safe. Take care. Thanks, <laughs> Thank Wilson. You. Bye. Bye.